Hi, I am Dr. Selvaraj, your surgical educator from Malaysia. Today we are going to discuss one more image based question in hepatobiliary and pancreatic pathologies. So this is a 45 years old female patient present with right upper quadrant pain with jaundice and fever with chills for 7 days duration. There was history of two previous similar episodes. History of clay color stool and tea color urine also present. So the, these are the follow, these are the uh, uh, images. Image number A, B and C. This is one image. This is ERCP and this is a CT scan and this is this is also uh, this is also a CT scan. So now. <coughs> These are the following questions. Number first question, what investigation was performed as shown in figure A and what are the findings? What is the diagnosis and explain the reasons for that? What are the causative organisms? How will you manage this patient? Number five, what procedures were performed in figure B and figure C? Number, number six, what is the prognosis? So question number one, what investigation was performed as shown in figure A and what are the findings? So you had to pass the uh, video and try to answer all the five questions. Then after answering, you verify the correct answer which I am going to discuss in the subsequent slides. So question number one is what investigation was performed as shown in figure A and what are the findings? The correct answer is the, the procedure performed is ERCP. In picture 1, you are seeing dilated extra and intrahepatic biliary radicals. You are seeing dilated extrahepatic as well as these are intrahepatic biliary radicals. You are seeing a shadow of Ascaris lumbricoids worm in CBD that is common bile duct, common hepatic duct and in left hepatic duct. So if you carefully observe here, so these are the arrows are showing this is the shadow you are seeing. This is the shadow of Ascaris lumbricoids worm. You are seeing it inside the biliary radical. So this is the finding. In picture number B, here also you are seeing both dilated biliary radicals, both extrahepatic as well as the intrahepatic. Apart, apart from that, now this is after ERCP because they have removed the scope already, but they have put a stent inside. This is what is called the stent inside the CBD. So it is coming out of the uh, ampoule of water and sphincter of body. It is in the duodenum. Then it is going to the stomach and then, okay, it is going out through the nose. This is what is called nasobiliary drainage to drain the infected bile from here. So that is what they have, they have done. They did a stenting and the bile is draining through the nose, through this tube. This is nasobiliary drainage for this uh, pathology. So question number two, what is the diagnosis and explain the reasons for that. So the diagnosis is ascending cholangitis. The patient presents with right upper quadrant pain, fever and jaundice. This is the classical Chaka trial. Altered mental status and hypotension can occur in patients with suppurative cholangitis producing the classical Reinhardt's pendant. The commonest cause for cholangitis is of course choli dark cholithiasis. Other causes are biliary stricture, both benign and malignant, and worm infestations like sinensis clonarchis, clonarchis sinensis. So in this patient, of course, it is uh, the worm infestation is because of Ascaris lumbricoids. Question number three, what are the causative organisms? Usually the causative organisms are because of gram-negative organisms like E. coli, Klebsiella, Pseudomonas, Enterobacter and Proteus. The anaerobic organism infection is very uncommon in this uh, cholangitis. So question number four, how will you manage this patient? So the correct answer is prompt treatment involving rehydration, intravenous antibiotics like third generation cephalosporin and ductal drainage by ERCP stenting or PTBD that is percutaneous 
transhepatic biliary drainage. He had because acute cholangitis and suppurative cholangitis or acute surgical emergencies. So you have to give not only the antibiotics, if it is suppurative cholangitis, you should, I mean, try to remove that infected bile from the bo body by either by the putting a stent with ERCP, that is nasobiliary drainage, or you can do percutaneous transhepatic biliary drainage under ultrasound control. So question number five, what procedures were performed in figure B and figure C? The correct answer is in figure B, the biliary tree was decompressed with an internal biliary stent by ERCP. So here this is a CT picture, you are seeing clearly this is the stent. This stent has been introduced inside the biliary tree by the ERCP with by ERCP procedure. So in figure C, you are seeing this is what is called percutaneous transhepatic biliary drainage. This is done under this was done under ultrasound guidance. You can see the dilated intrahepatic biliary radicals. You can see a needle, chaiba needle. This you have to put the moment you are puncturing this. I mean, intrahepatic biliary radicals, bile will, will be gushing out through this needle or you can put a tube also, tube drainage also, you can do this. This procedure is called PTBD or percutaneous transhepatic biliary drainage. What is the prognosis of this cholangitis, either ascending cholangitis or suppurative cholangitis? Usually ascending cholangitis, you can treat with high antibiotics, but if it is suppurative cholangitis, you have to drain the pus. So the mortality can occur in up to 10% of the patients with severe cholangitis, that is suppurative cholangitis, because these patients will die because of septic shock. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you think that these videos are very useful, kindly subscribe to this channel and share these videos in your social media. Thank you once again for watching this video. Let us meet in an another video. Until then, Bye-bye.